Biker Billy cooks with fire. There I was trying to park the bike and one of them French gourmet comes up in one of those citrus cars tried to steal my parking spot. Well, I got a surprise for those kind of guys. You don't have to go to gourmet school to cook like a gourmet. All you got to do is sit back, relax, grab a gargantuan bowl of something that you just cooked with one of my recipes. And when we come back, we're going to cook with fire. All right. The recipe from this program is in Biker Billy's Free Way of Fire Cookbook, now available as an ebook at bikerbilly.com. All right, I just finished with that French gourmet in the parking lot. I figured out why he was trying to steal my spot. He wasn't after my spot, he was after the recipe. Yes, sir, e Bob. They heard that secret underground, you know. It's like that group from the 60s that tried to make everything all messed up. They found out that we were going to cook some American food. They thought it could be a French gourmet recipe, and they didn't want me getting there and breaking all them kitchen rules. So, that well taken care of, let's get into having some fun. All right, throw your chef's hats away. Get rid of your cordon bleu certificate. Put on a black biker t-shirt. Reach underneath there in the magic oven and pull out. An apron, yes, wear an apron so you don't make a mess out of a good biking t-shirt. Now, if we had sleeves on our t-shirts, we'd roll them up and I'd get my fingers tied out of these apron strings. We'll start cooking. We're going to make... Yeah, it's pretty hard to get that apron tied behind your back. We're going to make something that I call kick asparagus soup. Yes, this stuff, this creamy, delicious soup, breaks all the culinary rules of that... Ew, let's cook it like this kind of school of cooking. It's downright hardcore. So to start off, we're going to grab ourselves one bunch of scallions. Yes, sir, Bob. Freshly cleaned, beautiful scallions. You line them little babies up neat and just cut their little heads off. Yes, sir, Bob. They don't need their roots anymore because they're not growing. Now, flip them around. Cut off the dry part up at the top that ain't no good no more. Get rid of them, and we're gonna do some fancy French slice and dice. And check this out very carefully. Take that knife and cut them like that. Cut them like that. Oh my God, was that complicated? One bunch of scallions. Now, in my big soup pot, I ain't got no stock. Yes, I broke the first rule. We're not using stock. You can use stocks and bonds in your investment portfolio to buy a motorcycle, but you can use good old American water to make this soup. Now, you don't need that heavy whatever stuff water. Now, let's see. All right, so we got a bunch of scallions. Let's grab some celery. Ooh, hey, it's raining. Let's grab some celery, and we got one, two ribs of celery. Now, celery, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Take here and cut off. The white parts. Take the white parts, throw them away. Reach up in here and very carefully examine the very tip of the stop, the tops, the dap -da -da Cut them right off there. Take them things and throw them away. Now, grab your beautiful celery and just like we did to that other stuff, cut it up like that. It's very important. You see these celery leaves? That's right, yes. It's more flavorful than, ah, what's up, Doc? Okay, here we go. Now, in two goes, in goes two ribs of celery. Now, here we go, kitties. Asparagus, beautiful, fresh asparagus. We'll take them a couple at a time, and we're going to have some real good fun with these. We're going to take, line them up, and you see the tips? These beautiful, take a close look at this gorgeous tips. What we're going to do is we're going to cut the tips off and then we're going to cut the stems up. So look very carefully. We just cut the tips up. They're about half the size of my pinky. So we'll put them over there and then we're going to take and we're going to cut. And it's very tender up at the top. And then somewhere down at the bottom, 
like this one, it's starting to get tough. When it gets tough, you don't want the tough part. You know what you do with the tough part? You throw it out. So each asparagus stalk is a little different. Treat them like an individual. After all, this is America. Now, get rid of those bottom ends. Take those little chunks, those nice one inch chunks, throw them in that pot. We'll do this again, because you got one pound, one pound bunch of asparagus. Examine them carefully when you're in the store. Make sure that all the little tips are on there, because that's the tasty best part. And check them out that they are not funny colored. Like, see how these are funny colored down here at the end? If it's funny colored like that way up the stalk, then that means that you got more of this tough stuff that you ain't gonna eat. That's right. And if $2.99 a pound or something like that, you don't want to buy stuff that you're gonna end up throwing in your compost heap. Now, we'll cut them all off. We're making a kick ass, oh, uh, kick asparagus, wonderful, delicious cream soup. I'm gonna show you how to use a double boiler, how to make a wonderful, uh, what is that, a rux or a roux, Freeze? Uh... Well, other people call it a roux. I think you more correctly refer to it as a rux. Well, it's a rux or a roux. It's not a kangaroo. It's not a marsupial. It doesn't have a pouch, but it's a way of making a thick, delicious sauce. We're going to use butter and cream, and we're going to show you some nice hot peppers. But first, we'll get the rest of these cut in there. Now, we're going to use two different types of peppers, and I'm going to show you a way to make this so tasty and delicious and to have some extra variety in the heat in there. Oh boy, man, my compost heap, you should see my compost heap. Actually, you can't get within a couple of feet of it. It's so active. Man, if you smoke back there, you got a lit match. That hydrogen vapors will blow you away now. Actually, it's methane. I can run my car on it. Anyway, so here we go. We chop up the last bunch. So we got eight cups of water. We got two ribs of celery. We've got one bunch of scallions, and what's missing besides garlic? Nah, hot peppers. Take a look here. We've got a beautiful poblano. This is an anjo pepper that's green and fresh, actually. This baby's frozen out of my garden. You just cut the little head off, that little pepper trick, just like the bell peppers. You don't need the stem or the seeds. And you throw this whole thing in there, and you're going to let it come to a boil and boil it for half an hour. When you come back, it'll still be boiling, and we'll cook with fire. All right! A recipe from this program is in Biker Billy's Free Way of Fire Cookbook, now available as an ebook at bikerbilly.com. Mmm, the delicious garden aromas are outrageous. Check it out. Our wonderful veggies there, they're starting to boil up. You're gonna boil them for half an hour until they're wonderfully, deliciously tender and we'll come back and we'll play with them. Now, let's play with something truly amazing. Check it out on the cutting board. Here is a beautiful habanero pepper. And yes, I grew this little baby in my garden. It's the hottest pepper in the world. It is dangerous. They don't even make tear gas out of peppers this hot now. What we're gonna do is carefully grab a hold of that stem and very carefully cut its little head off. Now, we got rid of its little head and you're gonna take the knife and you're gonna make sure that you get in there. And let me tell you, kitties, if you get this stuff on your fingers, you gotta wash your hands twice with warm, soapy water. Now, we get rid of that stuff, look at that. Just take a close look at that, that stuff is dangerous. Now, we're going to take it, get rid of it, and we're going to take this beautiful habanero pepper and just slice it into two big identifiable pieces. Now, we've got some butter, genuine butter. You can use sweet or salted. We want to take approximately three tablespoons and a small saute pan. Put that and our dangerous little habanero in there and we're gonna wanna use a low heat. We don't wanna fry, we wanna simmer and saute. Now, this is going to be such an outrageous treat, and we're gonna make something with this at the end that's gonna allow you to let your friends be insane with the heat. Now, you've got your beautiful 
Just look at them, your beautiful tips of your asparagus. Take them, and they're about maybe an inch, inch and a half long, and just cut them in half so you get a little extra pieces. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put these in with the butter and the habanero and a little special ingredient. That's right, something else is going in there. And we're gonna simmer this stuff very gently for about five minutes. After that time, we're going to add that next ingredient. So get them nicely cut up, and in they go. All right. Now. Mm, listen to that non-sizzle. That's right. It's not frying. All right. Here we go, kids. We've got a beautiful red bell pepper. This soup is going to be a delicious hot cream soup, and we're going to garnish or if you want to collect wages from it garnish she it with these wonderful wonderful hot 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 tips and the fabulously beautiful pieces of red bell pepper all right now the goal here in slicing this pepper is to get pieces that are roughly a quarter to a half inch square and you don't want them to reach dangerously in there you don't want them to be all that much bigger than that piece of asparagus tip. Now, this is a very fancy gourmet recipe, but we're not going to do it quite so gourmet style. We're going to actually allow you to have some of the healthful benefits of the delicious vegetables that go in here. So we'll cut these down one at a time. Make sure you don't cut your finger up. And then we're going to talk just a little bit about how we're going to make this delicious. Now, we got celery, we got scallions, and we have got poblano. And you all know I love anjo peppers. You probably saw them last week, or you'll see them next week or the week before that. The poblano is the green, undried version of the anjo pepper. Now, over here, take a look. Simmering up. Simmer these babies for about five minutes. You don't, whoops, did I miss that? You don't want to burn them. You want to leave them nice and tender. Then you're going to take and you're going to add in the wonderful red bell pepper. Stir these. Let them slow simmer for another five minutes. You don't want them mushy. You want them firm and delicious. Now, when we come back in a minute, I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this. But I want to show you this interesting kitchen device. This is a double boiler pot. In the bottom, we've got hot boiling water. This is the bottom of the pot. The water you want is not, and you notice that, look. See, that's dry. The water is below the level of the bottom of the pot. So when you see in a fancy dancy cookbook, and they say, use a double boiler and make sure it's above the water as opposed to in the water. What they're talking about is that there's a little airspace between the bottom of this pot and the top of that water. So what we're going to do, we're going to take ourselves, this is water's already hot, we're going to take three delicious tablespoons of butter, sit that on a, bo a boina, a boina, I'm from Brooklyn, a boina, and let that get hot. And when we come back, you know what we're going to do? Cook! with fire all right the recipe from this program is in biker billy's free way of fire cookbook now available as an ebook at bikerbilly.com whoops caught me about ready to eat something all right kids check it out look here in the little saute pan you see you got those bright habaneros those wonderful red bell peppers and the delicious tips of the asparagus and you see all that juice at the bottom we'll sit this aside covered until it cools down a little bit and we're going to need it later and i'm going to show you what we're going to do with it but first let's take a looky here we got our soup stock with all of our vegetables been boiling for half an hour the vegetables are nice and tender i'm going to tilt that again for you one more time that stuff's hot we're going to let that simmer a little bit longer and we're going to start with the next phase. We'll get a little bit of that soup. No stock, kids. No stock. Breaking all them French gourmet rules. So we got our double boiler with the water below the bottom of the pot. We've got three tablespoons of butter. If I tilt it anymore, it'll spill. 
in there, and this is what we're going to do. We are going to take three tablespoons. Uh, we'll get our wire whisk. We're going to take three tablespoons of flour. Take them one at a time. You're going to put that first one in there. Take that wire whisk and stir it around. And you want to dissolve it. You can barely see it. When I get the second and the third one in there, you'll see it a little better. So you're going to take the second one and again, Sprinkle it on the top of that nice, wonderfully melted butter. All right, we didn't even clarify it. We broke another French rule. So, now, this is a rux or a roux. Yes siree, Bob, it's one of them French gourmet tricks. So, we're gonna put our third tablespoon of flour in there. We're gonna give that a little bitty stir around there, get it all mixed up, and now, kitties, you can see what it looks like now. This is when we have a little fun. We're gonna take some white pepper, because we don't wanna see the dark black flakes. We're gonna take ourselves a nice quarter teaspoon of black pepper, ah, white pepper. Sprinkle that in there, and you'll see that the color of it will blend right in. Get that well blended in. And we are gonna reach over here, and we are gonna get ourselves one whole teaspoon of salt, a nice level teaspoon of salt. And again, sprinkle it on top of this, take it and whip that in there. And you can see that's nice and thick. And we're gonna wanna let that sort of get kind of associated with itself a little while before we go to the next step. Now, the next step with this over here is we're gonna take our food processor and we're going to puree our vegetables a little bit at a time and where did it go i had it it was here it's there it's everywhere where is it come back here my slotted spoon so we'll take the slotted spoon we'll put some of these vegetables in here this stuff is absolutely delicious a wonderful celery now in the french gourmet land you would take all of this And it'll help in pureeing this if you take a little bit of that liquid and pour that in there. Get it going. So you want to thoroughly puree it a little bit at a time. We'll get it all pureed up here. Now. While we're pureeing that, this over here has matured just a little bit, and we're gonna take ourselves one half cup of light cream. This is the fun, delicious part. One half cup light cream. Now we're gonna pour that, put that right in there, and we're gonna beat the daylights out of it, yes? Whip it, whip it, whip it, puree, puree, puree. Now, we're getting this puree bit at a time, and we need another big pot, yes sirree. Bob, we need another pot, yes sirree, Bob, we need another pot. You make this much noise in your kitchen late at night, and you may find yourself living somewhere else soon. Make sure that all of the veggies get completely pureed. They run this stuff through a food sleeve. I find that I get enough food on the front of my t-shirt that I don't want to run it through a sleeve, so I don't do that. We're gonna just take a little more of the liquid, get it all pureed up. Oh, baby, can we do this without spilling it? Get it in there. Now. It looks like mush. So, as we get it all pureed up, we get that a little more pureed up, throw the blade in there. This is really the fun part, because I gotta puree up the whole thing for you, so you really get the full benefit of what's going on here. We are gonna make out a fabulous, fabulous cream soup. A little bit too much liquid there. The back and forth, watching some bearded crazy guy with a food processor filled with boiling liquid. So, why don't we do this? You go away. When you come back, I'll have it all pureed up. We'll put it together, and it'll be outrageous. All right. The recipe from this program is in Biker Billy's Free Way of Fire cookbook, now available as an ebook at bikerbilly.com. All right. Now, check it out. 
Our wonderful cream flour butter is nice and thick and smooth. We've run the vegetables through with the water and when you've cooked it down for about half an hour, you're going to have reduced the liquid volume to approximately four cups of liquid plus the wonderful vegetables which you pureed. And I actually have a little more than I thought I was gonna have. You add this a little slower than I did and you're gonna gently stir this. If you do it the way the French Gourmet does it, you won't have this celery sort of thr strings in there. You notice how that celery string just grabs a hold of that uh, wire whisk so you can just very simply leave the bulk of the fiber in there and just as you're stirring it, get rid of. Now this totally, totally breaks all the rules. But then again, with everybody interested in food that is healthy, that is delicious, that has got all of the wonderful food value, the fiber in it, you got to try this. Now, check it out. We got our wonderful vegetables. We put this in a soup tureen. We're going to take and we're going to carefully strain these and lay these right in up on top. If this was the perfect thickness, they'd almost float. And obviously, I got it a little thin because I didn't boil it long enough. This is absolutely outrageous. All you got to do to make it super wild is just take and puree those habaneros in the butter and people can dip it in. Now, if you want this outrageous recipe, it looks better, it tastes better in your kitchen. Check this out. All right. The recipe from this program is in Biker Billy's Free Way of Fire cookbook, now available as an ebook at bikerbilly.com. Uh, check it out. The soup is outrageous. The wonderful red of those beautiful bell peppers, absolutely outrageous. You can make this at home, and it's outrageous. Now remember three important things eat hot, ride safe, and cook with fire. All right. This has been an All Rights production, copyright 1994 and 2017.